Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here make sure you click that subscribe button down below, join us as a frequent flyer and uh, be sure to catch me on some live streams going forwards in the future. If you uh, want to get started on the VATSIM network then check out my VATSIM tutorials as well and uh, they pretty much give you all, everything you need to know, all the basics to get you started on the network. So do check them out and be sure to check out those PDF files in the descriptions too that you can use for free as well. So this video is going to go forwards with model matching a little bit so you guys can understand A how it works and B how to amend it depending on your own configuration in your community folder because uh, as a lot of you will know I've created the, one of the VMR files available for Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, initially created just for myself and then I've released it to everybody in the community to use and uh, quite a lot of people seem to be enjoying it which is fantastic but um, I also appreciate that everybody's community folder looks very very different so that's where my file finds a limitation in a way or any VMR file finds a limitation because it's uh, fairly independent on everybody's setup being the same so I'm going to show you in this video how to configure and amend it yourself uh, one program you'll need is Notepad or Notepad++ to amend all of this uh, so all you need to do is go ahead and open the VMR file that you download for, from myself or from any other creators and uh, this is uh, my one as you guys uh, a lot of you will be familiar with and I've been working to update it slightly so that it will be easier for you guys to amend as well so what you'll also need is your community folder so we've got our community folder all up and uh, visible and you can go through it effectively and work out what ones you want if there's a particular uh, virtual airline that you want to include in your VMR file so you can all see each other when you're flying together or there's something that just doesn't work for yourself and you need to download a new livery and you might want to just tweak the file for yourself then uh, it's actually really easy to do so as an example I went ahead and downloaded uh, the Europe Car EasyJet livery the other day so you want to find that in your community folder go into it go into sim objects airplanes into the next folder and then you'll see an aircraft.config file go ahead and open that in notepad or whatever similar program you're using and you'll get your configuration file there as we can see all we want to do is copy the bit at the top that I've just highlighted there guys so control C get that copied and we can go ahead and find so uh, control F EasyJet we can go ahead and find EasyJet on the list and all you need to do is do two forward slashes control V and post it in and for all the other ones that you might have as well so uh, this one here as well for example you could go slash slash control V because I appreciate that everybody's setup is going to look very different. Be conscious of the fact that EasyJet, of course, uh, as an example, they've got different callsign identifiers. They've got EZY, EJU, and EZS. So you might need to repeat the steps uh, below a couple of times. But you can go ahead and just collect all of your different model names, slash slash between each one, and paste it in and to make it quick for yourself just go ahead and select the entire selection there and just paste it one of the most frequent questions I get is oh, I keep getting loads of model matching problems and uh, I can't see the correct aircraft now one of the reasons why that happens is uh, a lot of people still seem to be logging into the VATSIM network with the incorrect call sign. Um, so EasyJet the other day we saw somebody log in um, with the call sign Easy. That's not correct. So VATSIM has no way to, uh, well the file has no way to model match because uh, they've not logged in as a correct call sign. Another issue as well is uh, aircraft types so the Airbus A320neo which a lot of us use in this in the Microsoft Flight Simulator the type code for that is actually A20N for November so A20N is what you should be logging into VATSIM as so you'd need a combination of the correct call sign 
So when you'd log in on vPilot, you'd want to your, your call sign, and then the aircraft type is going to be uh, you type A20N if you're an A320neo. If you type in A320, then it will think you're a uh, standard A320-200 series, uh, not a neo. And if you type A32N, then that's not a valid aircraft type code, so um, that won't help. It won't generate anything for you, um, and we can't program for that unfortunately there's no way we can cover every single uh, error that people will throw up so we can only do what we can do but that's uh, all you've got to do if you've got three or four different EasyJet call signs or uh, British Airways or anything like that then just go ahead as we've done here for Iberia just find the ones in your community folder I've got three different ones and separate them with a slash slash so uh, make sure it continues to follow this same format and it has to be within the quotation marks and the end lines have to go as uh, like that so as long as the, the actual format of uh, the file stays the same you can go into between these two ex uh, quotation marks and you can just add as many as you like so uh, Frontier for example have a quick look at Frontier There we go. So Frontier has got a whole ton of different uh, aircraft tails uh, on their core liveries. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and uh, put the first one in, separated it with a slash slash, and then pasted the next one in. Separated that with a slash slash, and put the third one in, and so on. So it takes a little while, but once you've got it set up to your own liking, then it's all good. Everything at the top here should stay the same. Effectively, this this bit here is telling the the file if it can't match with anything below, any liveries below, then it should use this as a backup. So, how about adding in a airline completely from scratch? Well, the easiest thing that you guys could do is uh, just go ahead and find something like that, copy it, and paste it just below and you need to know the three letter identifier so if it's BA for example it's BAW if it's Thompson or, or Chewy as it is now it be TUI um, if it's uh, Fly UK a virtual airline it's UKV so you need to know those three letter codes and you need to go ahead and uh, actually amend that so add it in whatever it would be so uh, ZYX for example if that was going to be an airline and then you'd go into the aircraft config file for that livery and you'd go ahead and uh, paste it in whatever whatever it'd be and you'd have to do that for every aircraft type that you might want that call sign three letter code to match against and uh, the livery that you want it to match to so in this example, uh, if you're going to add one in from scratch, you just go ahead and copy, paste, three letter code into the list as we're doing now, and then take the livery that you want to match. Of course, if there was multiple liveries, you would uh, do the slash slash between uh, each one at this point. So if there was a, um, a second livery, it'd be it would obviously look like slash slash and then uh, the second livery config file model title um, as it's shown as an example here so you can go in and add your own files like that if you just wanted every single aircraft to match with a specific livery so say for example during my streams I just wanted to show off my uh, channels livery on every aircraft instead of using an, an Asobo default I could just go ahead and I could just go ahead and amend that so let me show you how to do that very quickly so go into your community folder as we did before find the livery that you want and go into the aircraft model list and you could go ahead and change the A320neo uh, go ahead and copy that and uh, find what you want it to become so for example A320neos you go ahead and paste that in and I've got a second one here I've got an AI one here okay, so I could go ahead and copy that one slash slash paste and if it fails to match anything in this section below 
When it passes back for its fourth attempt to try and match, it will revert to this baseline here, just matching an A320 Neo with that livery there. So then you could just go ahead and save that, and that's how you'd set every livery, every aircraft under that aircraft type code to be spawned with a backup livery. So the file itself is correct. If it's not correct, when you actually add it into vPilot, uh, as we've covered before, it will say that you can't. Um, it will say that it's incorrect. There'll be a, there'll be a line error. So let's go ahead and save that. So we'd open vPilot. Always run it as administrator. Go into settings. Go into your model matching line. Make sure that reads correct. So it has to say generic airliner twin engines Asobo double zero. Uh, I've seen a lot of people saying it's not working on the forums, but it's because they've uh, they've actually it says engine and not engines, something small like that. And now, of course, uh, get asked this a lot, um, but it's covered a lot on the internet. Um, rescan isn't applicable for MSFS. It says it there as well, so please don't keep asking me what you know why the rescan's greyed out. Go into your custom rules, add your custom rule set, and locate it in your vPilot files folder and double click to add it in. You can go ahead and move the order around to however you like and then make sure you click apply and click OK. And then you should be able to log into vPilot with everything that you want in your community folder. So the difficulty comes with the fact that there are so many liveries out there that I, I simply can't create a file that will cover all of it because you might download some liveries that I don't necessarily want and uh, and vice versa. So you might see a load of liveries that I've got and think well, I don't really want those, I'm going to download something different and that's where it becomes difficult to actually build your own file. So um, I wanted to show you guys how to make it yourself and how to tweak it yourself at least using my file as a base for you and uh, I hope you find it useful. Let me know how you get on in the comments. Um, obviously every time you update a livery go into your aircraft config file and just check to make sure that the title here hasn't changed in any way because if it has then you might need to go and find it in the file in the VMR file and amend it. But you can list as many as you like. Of course um, you might log in and you might say uh, for example, there might be a British Airways flight next to you. Let's use this as an example. And if the livery is broken, and it says uh, it will come up with an error going, um, unable to create Airbus A320 Neo British Airways 2012 Olympic AI, uh, will attempt to match with a different model, or whatever the error says. That's fine. Sometimes that does happen. That is completely normal. All you need to do is let it do its thing. So it will pass the first time, and if that doesn't work, it will go back down the list, back to this line again and go, okay, well the other option was British Airways A320neo, uh, British Airways AI, and it will try and load that instead. And if it fails again, it will go and search for the nearest match, so it will go, okay, well, I'm looking for an A320, and uh, there we go, I'll just use the basic Neo Asobo version instead for the third pass. So because you, if you see an error, just because you see an error, doesn't mean that it's not going to match. You might still see it taxi past you uh, in the correct livery. But that's just uh, because Microsoft Flight Simulator doesn't seem to talk properly to vPilot just yet. Of course, if the liveries break with any updates, as the 747 ones currently do at time of recording for this, then there's nothing we can do um, with the file itself because the file is correct. So how do I know that my file actually works? Well, if we go ahead and delete a line here so we actually break the code and we save it as uh, broken.vmr and we go into vPilot and we actually try and add it ourselves it will come up with the error saying that there's a, an error in the XML document at line 71 comma 1 and it will tell you that actually it can't add it into vPilot because the code's broken at that, at that area. So all of the issues that people seem to be getting it's all linked to the, either the way that the sim is reading the liveries
and it's not matching it correctly when uh, vpilot is asking it to match correctly or the liveries themselves are broken so uh, I hope you found this useful uh, give it a good go it is quite easy to do once you get the hang of it uh, and a lot of it becomes copy and paste so uh, let me know how you get in the comments be sure to click subscribe down below as well and check out uh, all of my VATSIM tutorial playlists uh, thanks for watching